In this segment, we will talk about how to connect to the uh, Dragino LDDS75 uh, distance detection sensor. Uh, it looks something like this. Communication device looks like that. And on the other end, it attached to the sensor itself. So uh, in order to connect this sensor, uh, first you will need to open up the uh, casing. And as you can see, there is one, two, three, four screws there. You can just loosen them. And once you loosen them, you can open up the device. Uh, I will be referring a lot of uh, the content in this video to the previous video where I talked about uh, the other sensor node. Uh, and the sensor node is called LSN50. Uh, if you have watched the previous video, you will probably know uh, what this looks like. And uh, uh, once you open up this unit, you'll see that the inside of this sensor looks kind of very similar to the other sensor node I just mentioned. And uh, they are actually identical inside of them, uh, except the sensor itself. So uh, the convenience, if you will, of this sensor is you don't have to open up uh, the board and then connect the sensors to the board itself. So uh, when this unit it was shipped to you, uh, you just need to attach the top. So the antenna will come in a separate component and then you just attach to the top. And uh, the other thing you need to do is once you open up the unit, uh, you see the board. Uh, there is the jumper uh, switch that I have mentioned in the previous video as well. Uh, you will need to unplug it and then plug it back in to make sure it's connecting the two terminals. Uh, so the shiny metal parts coming off of the board. So uh, once you do that, you should be able to see uh, and uh, connect the uh, sensors to the things in that work. So uh, let's just dig right into that. So here is the things in that work. Uh, I am going to just log into here. And once you log in, you can go to the applications where you set up your group of sensors. In this case, I set up all of my sensors under this particular application called Dragino LH65. Um, then you can click on end devices. So here is a list of sensors that I have connected to this application. And uh, what you need to do is uh, first you need to add this device. So you can click on add end device. And uh, you can go through the same steps as before. Uh, search for the Dragino brand. Uh, look for the LDDS75 sensor. Uh, everything else is pretty much pre-filled, uh, make sure the profile is US, and you can see the sensor photo on there. The frequency plan uh, is select the one that used by the Things Network. And for the app EUI, uh, develop EUI and app key, these are the values that come with your tag. And uh, the tag uh, should be attached inside a box. And I have went through the process of finding these uh, in the third video, in this uh, 
tutorial series and uh, please feel free to go back to that video and uh, go through the steps in finding these uh, different values. But essentially, uh, once you have the tag of information of these different device information, you can uh, use a phone uh, or a computer to extract the text and then copy paste onto here for those values. But for more details, uh, please feel free to refer back to the third video where I talked about how to connect LHT65 sensor um, that went in more into detail how to extract these values. Then for the end device ID, you can give a name uh, to whatever you uh, choose it to be. Then you can register end device uh, and uh, then you will be able to see uh, the device is registered in this list. So for this particular one, I have already registered. It's the four ending with 435, which is this sensor right here. Okay, so this is uh, the part that is uh, setting up the things network. So the next step is to actually turn on the device. So how do you turn on the device? Let me show you here. So uh, by looking at the device, as I mentioned before, you would need to unplug the yellow jumper plug. So I'm just unplugging it here. Okay. So once you unplug, uh, make sure that plug now is putting back in in the position that's connecting the two different uh, terminal, shiny terminal coming off the board here. So as you can see, once I plug it in, the light started to flash. And that means uh, it is trying to connect. So now you will see that the green light means uh, it has communicated and sent data. Uh, let me just show you again. Uh, so if I unplug here, uh, now the device is turned off. So if you want to turn it on, you can plug this back in. So now you can see that the uh, light flashed. An extra thing I wanted to show you is at the back up here. So you see whenever the sensor is being read, uh, the board itself will have a green light come up, but also at the other end where the sensor is, it has a light that will flash blue. And that means it's reading distance. Um, and let's go back to the thing that, things network and see if the data were uploaded. Okay, so now we're able to see that there are different readings coming off of uh, this sensor. The reason why it's invalid reading is because it's uh, simply too short for it to measure. Um, but we can, let's try it again and we should be able to get something if I have a long enough distance here. So what I'm doing is I'm unplugging it at, and I'm plugging back in again. So you're seeing there are data coming in right now on the live data and it is reading data right now. The lights are flashing on the back of the sensor and now you'll be able to see there is a distance that was read off of uh, the sensor itself. So that unit right now is in millimeters. Uh, and uh, that's uh, pretty much how you can make sure it's connecting properly. So uh, that is pretty much how you can connect the 
LDDS 75 sensor to the things network. Uh, and obviously the data can be then translated uh, and also stored into uh, UBLA and you can visualize the data there. Just similar, very similar to the other sensors that I have shown you earlier. Uh, and of course, be sure to uh, close the enclosure once you're done with this. And uh, uh, also, of course, the uh, plug, the switch, if you don't need to use this sensor for a while, uh, just unplug it and then uh, put the jumper plug on either of the uh, white terminal, uh, I mean, the shiny metal terminal, as I mentioned earlier. So now it's on the off position. And then you can close the closure, uh, and that's pretty much it uh, for connecting the sensor and get the readings off of it. Uh, and hopefully you find this uh, video helpful, and uh, uh, thank you for watching.